lovely folk. We're going to get started on a Capricorn reading here. Now, I want to say, as I was getting these cards set up, um, I just was given the word chasm. I was also looking into this. Um, this is my water here that I sort of channel from. Um, and I know that the aurora borealis was more visible lately, but I can see that some of you definitely got out to go see it. Now, I don't know why chasm, I, but let's go ahead and get into that here. Let's, if, um, also dig into that further when I'm editing, but let's just get started here. Actually, it kind of, <laughs> it's like a chasm right here. There's a little split here that I want to kind of go in here. This is definitely for you as well. I saw a bridge um, in your meditation. You got a lot of cards here. Okay. You know, we're going with this bridge first. Okay, successfully overcoming a problem. Good advice from a wise person. Pale. Oh, and this was Al. Apologies. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. Scott, Jack, and Jill went up the hill to catch a pail of water. Okay. Moon changes in your life. So you're definitely going through some serious changes in your life. Things that you've overcome you won't be looking back on, I mean, you'll be looking back on with pride that you were able to successfully overcome this, but I just got, there's no turning back now. So yeah, very serious changes in your life. So you might feel some slight hesitancy but overall, you're jumping into it like an adventure. I just got like, like, you know, when people, I feel like that's something somebody would say, and I just saw a clip, like if they were to go bungee jumping, and you're up, you're buckled, like you got your, you're fastened into the bungee cord, and it's just like, well, there ain't no turning back now. Okay. This is very exciting. 
you should accept oh cut you should accept valid criticism this is something that keeps happening here is I keep overlooking and going straight into the details so keep your eye out for the simple things some of you also might see a cup like this or a ceramic teapot is going to be a signifier yes yeah, so keep your eyes open ring a marriage will take place either romantic or business I believe we did see I when I grabbed that bridge card, I think I saw Rose here. Romance is in the air. So this could be romantic. And lastly, we have Butterfly. A change for the better. Yeah. I think that's speaking very loud and clear here. Okay. Let's get into your tarot. sun card when I did your um, meditation I actually wrote the sun here and the ladybug and luck was tied to this I wrote it down here with it so also perhaps look out for this ladybug perhaps it'll be on The ceramic teacup or teapot. But uh yeah, it's it's a sign of luck coming your way. Perhaps you've felt like you've been in an unlucky place. But your luck's changing, that's for sure. Very strongly, in fact, I see lots of good karma coming your way. This is bold, I think. This needs to go here. Um, four of Pentacles in your challenge. And the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, that's... I was very much so overlooking so really try to tap into reading the subtext reading oh actually um, I was reading the subtext um, looking oh what's the term um not skimming over, that's something I'm getting strong, don't skim over, but also um, obvious things, like um, just don't overlook things. I also keep, I don't have to look at the light in this as I'm editing, but I keep getting flickering. Is the candle perhaps being extra flickery? Maybe that's like, you know when you're going through 
especially like in a car you'll really notice it and you're like driving through trees and so you keep getting like the shadows of the trees but then bright light shining in and it's just like flickering until you get out of into the vastness and then there's like bright sun Yeah, you're, you're being enlightened here. Let's go ahead and clarify it. Lovers, justice here. You'll be weighing out your options. In fact, you feel kind of lonely, is what I'm getting. I got the song in your meditation of, uh, I don't know who it was by, but lonely Elvis, question mark? I, but I'll put it up when I get to editing, but it's not by all this. All this was coming through too, so very much so, so um but yeah, you're lonely. The tower, I'm for some reason like seeing something going and going in reverse. There's some kind of cycle that you're caught in. Like I literally am seeing them falling back into the tower and it's just playing out forward and reverse. And these are coming as lemons. You're very bitter being caught in this cycle. But I think you just haven't quite reached. There's something you don't know yet that will come to light, but it's it's gonna be what frees you from this cycle. Yeah, I'm actually kind of seeing her as the high priestess winking right here. Um Yeah, it's like you've been climbing the mountain, but you just haven't gotten to that peak yet. But once you get to that peak, you're going to feel this sense of, uh, like, relief, but amazement, seeing the vastness all around you, and that it was so worth it. Your tiredness is going to kind of just dissipate and you're gonna be like reawakened in that moment so yeah there's gonna be some clarity up beyond this yeah this again is coming as 
there's something that you just don't know yet. You're going to learn something. I also got, <laughs> this is odd, but as the hierophant's feet are appearing as the Eucharist. <laughs> I, um, I am not, I do not, um, place myself under any limitations or any form of, like, religion or dogma. I believe in, like, the whole, the whole, like, the full spectrum <laughs> of life in the world and but, yeah, these are appearing to me as Eucharist. Oh, perhaps somebody's gonna put their foot in their mouth, and that's how you're going to be given this knowledge. But it is the key It's going to put you in a fork in the road, but it's also going to lead you to that finish line to where you're going to feel so elevated, like at the peak. left arm and shoulder just kind of felt very like a numb sensation. Okay, let's get into this one here. Page of Cups. This might be the romantic offer that comes in. Now some of you are in a committed relationship and it might just be going no, because this feels more new this feels more new Some of you, this also is going to be like a little bird whispered something to you. Whatever this is, you are growing through it. You're going to handle it very maturely. And it might even elevate you somehow. I'm getting a lot about elevation. Some of you might get a promotion at work. The cards don't necessarily say that, but... I, I feel it. I feel that some of you might get that, but you almost want to stay where you're at, even though you're not happy where you're at. I don't know. But this, yeah, I didn't even think of that. So somebody is going to whisper something. That's why this wink, too. And some of you might also just be gifted this knowledge, um, it'll be obvious to you, um, let's see this, yeah, some of you 
are very hesitant about this new position or about this love offer. Let's, let's see just a little bit more. Definitely. You're going to release this. You are ready to let go of these feelings and move into this. But it's just, it's still initially there. just are feeling so good on your own, but even though deeply, you know, you're not, you're not very, you're not in your full potential is what it is. And deep down, you know that. You might be happy to a degree. You might be a little bit complacent even. Even like not that you're not doing anything or anything like that by any means, but just like you just don't want to work have another area to work on is what it is. You feel like love is going to just be another area of focus that you have to work on. But from what I can tell, a lot is changing, so I so maybe this comes from a past relationship, you had to work very hard in it, or maybe it was like you were sort of, uh, maybe that was something that was brought up a lot, like we need to work on things, which don't get me wrong, like relationships do, of course, take some focus and some effort and some uh, meeting in the middle. You know, they, there's definitely, um, but something was just off before, and you don't, uh, it's not gonna feel like the same kind of work in the future. You're gonna be passionate about it in the future. You're definitely indecisive, though. But I think ultimately that passion is going to drive you to make a move. Yeah, it's gonna bring out these changes. Alright, let's clarify the Four of Pentacles here for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? about the Four of Pentacles here. Wow, that just straight bent that card. What does Capricorn need to know about the Four of Pentacles? Well, this is fate. Whoa. Okay, that felt nervous, but release-like. It just felt spilled over, but it was like a sudden... It was just a sudden weird feeling. Okay. I think it's your heart waking up for like the idea that things can be different than you imagined. Yeah. I mean, this card bent a little. Um, you've been very conflicted, but you are starting to see the possibility that Things don't have to be that way. Things don't have to be so black and white. 
and you can really enjoy this and lay down your swords. Like you are going to be in this conflicted energy at first, but it really, um, it's almost a waste of energy to put too much thought into it because it's, it's happening. No matter what, it is happening. I'm getting more again about being given information. Something that's going to make you fall out of your usual. going to reawaken you. Yeah. It's definitely going to push you forward. It's not going to feel like hard work. Some of you, this could be work, but I definitely am also getting strongly the romance. see you're only going to have eyes for this person. Nothing seems quite like this person. You're going to find it kind of hard to believe. And nothing is going to stop you. The only thing that can stop you is yourself, and you are going to hesitate, but ultimately, I mean, I see that it's, this is just a part of the experience. It's part of destiny here that something's going to push you out of this. High Priestess in Reverse, you're definitely feeling a little bit out of your game. I'm still feeling tired. Priestess, which definitely something is being revealed to you. You're going to get a whisper or a nudge from somebody or some information somehow. I'm getting this is a finger just very seriously tapping on um, it might be the two and it might be just the high priestess energy like get connected to your high priestess energy get connected to your divine feminine I'm seeing water This looks like it's supposed to be like a river or something, but it's black. It's like it's empty. So yeah, get... 
think you need some water in your life. If there's flow, or some place where there's moving water, like rapids, it'd be good to go near them. Maybe go kayaking if you have a kayak. Um, Getting like hearing the roar from the water is going to help you. You might get something from that. You might channel something through the sound of the roaring water. Alright, let's clarify the High Priestess reverse here. Clarify the High Priestess reverse. Already, you don't think that you're able that you have what it takes for this, but you do. I think you felt just stagnated and just a little depressed. It's just you felt lonely. But I think you're starting to see that you don't have to feel so alone. There are, there's just vast, abundant energy to tap into. We are all here existing. I'm getting that song on The Piano Man. They're sharing a drink called loneliness, but it's better than drinking alone. Um, so yeah, I think the biggest thing, the biggest change is going to be connecting with the, maybe even getting into like social things like programs, do some volunteer work, but also just realizing like loneliness is a, it's like happiness is a choice, like let go of the lonely feelings, know that um, you're not alone in this and that you may have been meant to experience some time alone, you've been transforming it's like you were in the chrysalis. It's chrysalis is kind of reminding me of chasm. You were meant to fall into the chasm. To rise out like the phoenix. So somebody might have also It may have felt like somebody really pushed you down, but you were meant to fall into that chasm so that you could rise more fulfilled than ever. Realizing that you have it all, that you fill your own cup and don't have to feel that way. And that everything is a reflection of what you put into that cup anyways, your perception. And your heart. Wow, you're actually, you are elevating. So I definitely see this changing. You are going to be happy here soon. Like, oh, trust the universe, trust in divine timing. That's a big part of everything here. If you're feeling uh, kind of, woe is me, flustered that you were in whatever situation it might be that you were in,
just trust that it was all part of some bigger plan and that things are working out for you. Alright, let's get your affirmation card here. And I do also want to get you a romance card. This really stood out to me. That's for you. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay, this is too. These believe. The belief is very strongly coming through. This is too. <laughs> I can't ignore it, it really is. Um, I'll go ahead and still shuffle and see if any just pop out, but. This might be it here. I'm kind of thinking that's it here. Ah. Uh, there was one more. Okay. <laughs> we have what we need here. Um, I believe in myself. And again, there's this elevation. If someone you care about needed encouragement, you would show support and faith. Then why wouldn't you do the same for yourself? Give yourself the same treatment you would give your best friend. So yeah, make sure. And you know, also connect with that, with the, with the loneliness, realize you're your best friend. You're not alone. You have every aspect of yourself. And you can confide in yourself and you can take the time to really connect to your younger self and watch your, how you've grown and, you know, continue to grow. Believe, receive, achieve. Whenever you want to accomplish something, believe in yourself first, and then let things unfold. So, I think... All you really need to do here... Is face the sun. Just believe in yourself, just find joy in the simple things. Perhaps start an appreciation journal. Um, there's even apps that you can use to just make sure every day. And you might at first feel, it might feel difficult. It might feel harder to find things, but as you keep going, you'll find every little simple thing. Your breath. That's a big one that a lot of people, I used to smoke and it wasn't until I realized I'm taking my breath for granted. Actually, I was inspired by somebody on YouTube who had CF and, you know, she, you know, very much so spoke on just how much we take the breath for granted and I had been wanting to quit smoking before that but that was something that you know really struck me hard and I just I was gobsmacked and I just knew that was what would carry me through it was just appreciating my breath and so I did pranayama and I stepped outside and I smoked or smoked and I uh instead of smoking I breathed in the flowers so that's something to stop to smell the flowers it doesn't have to be literally but that again is about that appreciation but um but it can help to literally do that but just find things you enjoy doing. I am enough. Comp 
compare it to no one. We all have our own journey and our own rhythm. It's okay to want more from yourself, but be gentle with yourself in the process. Be your own supporter rather than your own enemy. Happiness is a choice. I choose happiness today. You choose what to focus on. Pick a positive thought that you have. Allow the feeling to spread through your body and feel the joy. Repeat daily. So we're getting a lot also here about doing these things daily. I think that's something here too. Consistency. You know, it's like you're going just because your mind is so used to naturally going there. And it's actually a wonderful thing to be able to go into those depths and those valleys. So just give yourself some grace and know that it's okay to go down there, but you are capable of climbing back up and practice that every day. And it's not about getting to the top, it's just about leaning towards it. Okay, I'm getting The Climb by Miley Cyrus. Um, let's get your wins cards here. Decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So that fork in the road. I'm seeing that fork in the road again. Um, so yeah, also take some time Just sit in your heart. Just sit and connect with your heart to really try to you know I'm I actually getting I'm seeing somebody truly listen, like literally listening to their heart. So maybe that'll help you. Um just put your hands on your chest and feel your heartbeat and let the each beat kind of just come over you and that rhythm where did we see rhythm? we all 
our own journey and our own rhythm. <laughs> yes, literally, we all have our own heart rhythm. Okay, some of you also might even make music off of your heart rhythm, literally, playing your own heart song. That is adorable. Okay. Um, but yeah, I see that helping you both in a soothing way, but also it helps you kind of silence the inner critic and just get some clarity for a moment, just to let everything settle so that your heart is what's really guiding you, almost like echolocation. Okay, let's get your charms here. This is connecting again to that um, piano man. So this brought, um, shine bright like a diamond, but again, about clarity. Finding light in the dark, um, trying to sort of train, change your brain pathways and how you think so when you find yourself in the dark catching that and finding the good finding the light in whatever it is that you're thinking about at that moment finding the positive about that thing and sometimes that can be hard but just like practice it and allow yourself to step back and see um, more, like, that, oh, maybe this did affect this and this way and it helped me, or like, you'll, you'll know as you go through it. Um, again, a lot more about change here. This is some big changes. Okay, this got, this brought the, the Emperor's New Groove, oh that's so funny because then we have this here too for the Emperor, so, and I just got Stella, got her groove back, but I said both. Okay, so some of you might be kind of matching each other's energy here. I think you're gonna have a lot to talk about. I'm also seeing this as like a tongue um, talking. All right, this horse, so this connects to that chariot and It's also kind of giving me Ace of Swords, Pegasus, so this might also connect with that advice coming in, or an idea even coming in. Ah, oh, and the smiley face here. And another, wow, another floor de lis for Thumper, and again, matching that energy, that's that. Emperor's new group and Stella got her groove back. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I thank you so much for watching and being a part of my journey and welcoming me, welcoming me to be a part of your journey. Um, 
Until next time, lovely folk. <laughs>